Hey what up guys, it's Brandon here. Welcome back to some more Super Mario Galaxy. So in the last episode we were finishing off Toy Time Galaxy when we did the second and third main mission. Um we also did the fast foe comet and found a secret um you know we found a secret star there in that galaxy as well. I mean we did a lot. It was pretty crazy. But um if you want to check it out you can um well obviously just so if you want to know what happened last episode. But um, anyways, in this episode, we're now done with all four of these. Not completely done with these three galaxies, but we're officially done with that, though, obviously. But these three galaxies, we're going to go back to, because there's one more mission we have to do, which I'm not going to reveal it right now. But um, in this episode, we're going to go and fight the boss of the um, engine room. So, here we go. Bowser Jr.'s lava reactor. Okay, so we fight Bowser Jr. again. Just like we did in the kitchen. But, you know, in the, um... Alright. Let's go. Because in the in the terrace, we fought a Mega Leg, which that was the... Well, I... Oh, yeah, Bowser Jr. was there during that battle. But Bowser Jr. just, like... He, you didn't have to fight him, but... Anyways, we're going to go and do King Caliente's spicy return. Oh, we have to fight King Caliente again. I guess. Let's just see. I mean, so far we have this giant... Oh, yeah, I remember this. Those platforms right there, those green platforms, if you stand on them, they will, like, go and sink in the lava, so you cannot, like... You can't stand on them for too long. Alright, so... Okay, I'm making sure the lang is okay. I mean, okay, yeah. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. Just don't worry about the lighting. Oh, you need a bullet bill, yeah. Because there, there was a launch star that we had to go and get, so... Follow me! Oh, crap. Crap, really? Alright. I mean, I don't need that one-up mushroom anyway. Alright, there we go. Oh, you have to go all the way... This is going to be difficult. Oh my god. Really? So you have to go and take this with you, right? Oh my lord. Well, this is not going to be very, very fun. Okay, wait. That's not it. We, we can't go there yet. Shoot. Oh god, I almost fell. Oh god. Wait. Okay, good. Alright, we're good. Hang on, there we go. So that, that was kind of difficult, but... Alright, we did that. Wait. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, we got these unblue um, fire. Hang on, I'm, I'm gonna move my... Give me a sec. Wait. Sorry, I was moving my gamepad over. Because, it, I don't know, it just felt... It just felt a little weird, using the sensor bar a little bit on the gamepad because I I mean I moved it over and it made it feel weird that's why oh god all right all right so now we gotta go and like hit these coconuts at these enemies again just like we did before at I think it was the airship yeah yeah and you see these platforms here they sink when you go see you just gotta watch out for that oh oh now we're gonna fight Caliente King Caliente Oh snap. There's Bowser Jr. If I give up any more Grand Stars, my dad's gonna be mad! Wait. Oh my god. The lighting is bad there. <laughs> so this calls for my ultimate weapon. Give him some heat, King Caliente. So yep, we're gonna go and fight him again. I think he's normal. I think... Wait, no. Yeah, I think he looks different because he has red eyes now. I think I don't. Re I forget what, he, what his original form looked like because he he looks different. He looks darker, definitely darker. But okay, so we got hit it again like that, and there we go. All right, so it's basically the same thing except that now we're on these platforms that we can't stand on for too long. So that's gonna make things difficult. Shoot! Wow, really? All right. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, he only had to do that twice there, too? Okay, now he's mad. As you probably remember, we fought this dude um, in um, Gr Good Egg Galaxy. And now we're fighting, me again, fighting him again as the, as the um, last boss of this, of the um, engine room. And I don't, I don't really think there's a boss for the next dome, though. I don't know. I don't really think there is a boss for the next dome, but if there is, I don't know. Because I think this is the, this is the um, last Grand Star we need. Oh, so now these platforms won't stop, won't sink anymore. How logical, alright. Well, I'm not even going to question that. I'm just going to go and get the Grand Star, and there we go. Yeah, I think we got all the Grand Stars now. Nice. Alright. Because I think the um, Comet Observatory can now be fully functioned now. Let's just see. And this is where I'm going to reveal the next dome to you guys. So here we go. Now it's all bright blue. And there we go. Look at that. See, that's the next dome. Alright. We have 82 stars now. That galaxy is complete. A new galaxy. Five, four new galaxies. Yeah, there is no boss for that. Which that's called, that's the garden. By the way. That, that next dome is called the garden. And there's only four galaxies because there's no boss there. So that's good. Because you don't have to fight a boss for that now. I don't know if that's actually an optional galaxy. If you get, if, if the, if those of you who play, who like play this game for like, just to complete it, and not just 100% this game, then I guess, to me, like that, I mean, I don't know, to you guys probably who, who like playing, who, who just want to just beat the game, and not 100% this game, to you guys, I'm pretty sure that, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure the garden is the optional, yeah, an optional dome for you guys, for those of you. <laughs> But for those of you who want 100% this game, all galaxies matter. So, this is the gate. Let's go here first. I think I remember this. Yeah, here's the... This is where, um... This is, like, where the beginning of the game was, as you probably remember from the first episode. This is, like, the, um... The original gate. I mean, the... Yeah, the gate. I said original gate, like, it's the original... I don't know. But this is the first galaxy Mario, like, stumbled upon as he woke up. Oh, look, there's Rosalina. Are we going to talk to her again? All right. Oh, shoot, I didn't even... Okay, it's very dear to me. I looked forward to visiting the planet with the Lumas every 100 years. The Lumas that... The Luma that's been traveling with you may also grow to become a star someday. Some Lumas become planets, some become comets, and a few become power stars. Oh, well, that's pretty interesting. I'm traveling with them while they look for a place to be reborn. But I never thought all this would happen. Oh, look at this. Wow, Mama must really trust you. Well, how about this? If you grab all 100 purple coins here, then you'll earn my trust too. This is, the, this is a red star that holds the power of the red lumas. But the really amazing part about it is it allows you to fly after you spin in midair. Yes! Fly! While pressing A, you can pick the direction you want to fly with the control stick. If you can collect 100 purple coins, I'll let you use my power somewhere else. Yeah, look. This is like one of my favorite power-ups in this entire game. My, it's my favorite power-up because, watch this. You transform into Flying Mario. Spin up when jumping to fly. See? Watch this. So you just shake the Wii Remote to fly like this, and then um, just collect the purple coins like this. So, yeah. So you have to collect 100 purple coins. There is no time limit, so we just do this as much as we can. I think it runs out too, as well. So not only... I don't know, it, just run it runs out um, eventually. 
Or I don't know where I'm going. Oh, snap. Alright. Oh, look, there's more of those red stars. Alright, it's gonna collect that. Okay, there's more. Really? Alright. Oh, you can do that? That's cool. Wow, I didn't know you could do that. I think that only happens when you're this... I think when you're using this power-up, I guess? I don't know. There we go. Alright, no, we don't... Have... I don't really want to do that, but... And when that Luma said you could use, the... you could use this power-up elsewhere, he means the Comet Observatory. So, you... not, on... not only you can use it here, but you can actually use it at the Comet Observatory. Whenever you want to. Which, that's... That's why I love this power-up, because you can use it whenever you want to. But I'll let you know more about that um, after you collect this. I mean, after you collect all these hundred purple coins to earn this um, red star. And I like how it's just called Flying Mario. Does he have red shoes on? Oh god, come on. What the heck? Alright. This is difficult. Oh god, alright. What the heck? Alright. Let's go backflip for that. Nice. Okay, we have 72 of these now. This is a little difficult. I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't even used this power-up in a, in a long time, and I don't remember how it... It's kind of difficult to control after you haven't played this game in, in a while. I'm, well, I, I mean... I mean, ever since I started this playthrough, I have I have been playing it for the past two months. So it's basically it basically hasn't been a while since I played this game, but it's it's been a while since I used this power up. That's basically what I meant. All right. Um. Oh, there's more here. All right. Let's collect that. Oh, there's one here. Oh, look at all this. All right, let's collect that. Oh god, get that. Alright, we're good. We're good with that. Oh, I hate when you slide on the roof like that. Alright, so now there's seven more. Seven more of these. Okay, there's one there. There we go. Is there any over here? Oh, I guess not. Alright. Where else could they be? I'll have to find them. Because there's seven more of these around here. There you go. This music's good, too. It's pretty catchy. Especially if you use this power-up a lot. Oh, there's one there. There's two. Oh, look, there's... I think the rest are here. Yeah. Or no... Wait, what? Oh, yeah, there is. There's two more. All right. Yeah, see, now he ran out. Wait, it doesn't work if you do that? With, uh, yeah, I think, it, I think it only works when you're, like, flying Mario, when these purple coins would go... Oh, yeah, red star. There's a red star here. So once you get all the purple coins, you get a red star. A red power star. Which I'm pretty surprised there's a red power star. It just looks really cool as well, like... I don't know, it just looks just really cool. Like, look at that. Really? Hmm, not bad. Yeah, let's get it. There we go. So now we got the red star. Alright, that was good. That was pretty good there. And there we go. I'm gonna fix the lighting a little bit. Alright. Because I, I didn't realize how bad it was. And I like how it just it says galaxy comp galaxy complete now. A hungry Luma. Wait. Oh, he's outside the garden. All right then. Let's go and let's go and feed that hungry Luma now. Cause I I know there's gonna be a hungry Luma outside the garden. Well not well not that garden. I mean outside the gate. I meant to say there's a hungry Luma outside the gate. It's not the garden. The garden is the dome that we're going to um. I don't know if we're going to start it in this episode, probably not, but, um, wait, I think there was a, I think the red star is here, um, I forget where it is, actually, 
Yeah, it's over here. So every time from now on now, like, you'll see this here. Like, you'll see this red star here. And you can go and use it to go and you can just fly up. This is what I would usually do. I would just usually fly up here like this. Whenever I, whenever I want to get to the garden, I would fly up here like that. Oh, and that's probably why there's a one-up mushroom below here. So we're going to go and collect that. Nice. All right. Oh, snap. All right. We're good with that. All right, now I'm going to feed this hungry luma. How many do you need? 1,200. Wow. All right. All right, here we go. Man, you eat so much. Look at that. That's it. I'm stuffed. Transform! All right. And what's it called? Boo's Boneyard Galaxy. Oh. Well, let's see what this is all about. I I, th I think this is about the, um, what is it? Racing this, yep. We're going to race this guy again, the, that Boo. Racing the spooky speedster. All right, this has to be harder than, um, look at this. Oh, yeah, we do, we have to race him, like, in this, I don't know, like, you'll see. Yes. I don't know if it's more difficult or easier than when we raced him, um, Ghostly Galaxy. Well, let's go and find out. I mean, right now we're in here. Oh, look, we get the Boo suit. So now we're gonna go and race the Boo while we're Boo Mario. So, hee hee, so you're after it too? You'll have to race me for it. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Here we go. So now we're gonna go and do a Boo race, basically. So now we're just gonna be racing as a Boo. Why does the screen quality look like this? Oh my god. Oh, nice. Oh, look, you can even do that to go and get a 1-up. Perfect. Yeah, that'll make me go a lot faster now. There we go. Oh, I, I don't know what those do. These springy things, I think they, they, like, if you hit one, you, like, bounce back or something like that. I don't know. Something like that. Wait, there we go. Alright, now we're making progress. See, look at this. Look at that. I like how there's star bits inside those skull's eyes. Look at all those bones. Did people die from falling? Because it seems that people, lots of people fell down here and their bodies just rotted for like a hundred years. <laughs> Wait, why does he keep taking off his... Look at what the Boo's doing. He's like taking off his glasses and just putting them back on or something. Alright, well anyways. Eee, 51 seconds? I think 51 seconds? I don't know. But, well, a promise is a promise. So take this star. This power star. Alright, there we go. Wow, I beat that on my first try. And the Ghostly Galaxy... This is actually easier than Ghostly Galaxy. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, I'll take it. Yeah, definitely. I thought it'd be harder, but no, it was actually very easy. That was like a lot easier, to be honest. All right, and there we go. I don't know if we have enough time to start the garden. I'll at least reveal the next. Yeah, why not? We we have time, I guess. All right, you know, I'll just go up, I'll just go up like this. No, actually, no. Oh, yeah, look, there's another, um, red, yeah, there's another red star here. Y you know that, that red luma right there that we talked to before? Um, hold on. All right, that's the garden right there. But I, I actually want to just go over here again. I mean, I, I want to just go over here so that we, we can just go and use this. I don't know, I just, want, I just want to go and use that over here. 
Yeah, I think there's supposed to be a hungry Luma on the other side here. In this garden. But anyways, let's go inside. And, um... Look at this. There's no music. Right? It's just peaceful. It's, it's just peaceful. Like, you just hear birds chirping. There's butterflies here. And look at the background. Look at this. It's hard to believe, but... It's like, it's like an illusion or something. <laughs> I don't know, it's crazy. You know, why don't we do this galaxy? And then we'll go and start one of these galaxies. Matter Splatter Galaxy. I remember this. This, this was pretty annoying. Alright, well, we'll do this. And then in the next episode, we're going to go and do, um... Which one? We'll go and do this galaxy. Which, what is it? Oh, Deep Dark Galaxy, I remember that. That that was pretty annoying. But we'll do that in the next we'll do that in the next episode since we don't have enough time to do it. So we're just gonna go and begin this and um see how much we get done. Well there's only one star here anyway, so which is watch your step. Alright, I will watch my step. <laughs> but look at this. So basically there's these like little Little things that are like bouncing on the invisible ground, like making the ground visible. I don't know. It's crazy. I mean, it helps you stay alive anyway, so. But there's magic Koopas here as well. So you gotta watch out for that. Oh god. Alright, well that part's not really a hard. Alright, no, this is where it gets annoying. Actually. This is where it gets hard. Alright, well, we got through that. Oh, shoot. Okay. We're good. We are good. I wasn't even going to risk that other path. I'm afraid to look at the camera because I'm probably going to die if I just look at... Alright. I just looked at it, but you know what? It's all good. Oh, God. Go. No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. Ooh, that was close. Okay, yeah, I think we were supposed to go up here. I was trying to I was trying not to risk this path, but I guess we were supposed to go Yeah, we were supposed to go up here. Oh god. I remember this though. Yeah, it was Spring Mario. Yeah, I remember this. I kept dying on this before. Is this oh we have to jump up like that. Alright. Wait, no. Get up there like that. There we go. At least you don't die if you if you jump too high. If you like jump above, if you like jump up there like that high, you don't you don't have you won't die, which that's good. All right, um, where are we supposed to go anyway? Up here, like that? Yeah. All right, we have to wait though. No, no my nose is itchy. All right. Oh god. Oh, God. Oh, God. No! Ah, uh, I knew it. I knew something like that was going to happen. I knew it. Of course. Alright. You know, it's all good. We'll just try it again. We're at... Alright, we're at 23 minutes. We could do this. It just takes focus right now. Oh god. Alright, let's try to get on this get on the platform this time. Wait. You gotta time it just right. Oh, that was for a one up. We I could have just went up here like this, really? Whatever. Alright then. Wait, where am I going? Oh. Alright. Oh, look at all these star bits. Get all that money. Nice. Where are we supposed to go? Up there? Holy crap. Oh my god, my nose is itchy. Oh my god, it really wants me to fail. 
My nose really wants me to fail. I'm not failing. No! Oh my god. No. God dang it. Alright. Alright, one more try. We're gonna do it one more time. I still have time to try one more. It's my stupid nose that was messing me up a little bit. Now I was so close to getting that sling star that was gonna lead me back to safety. That's why this that's why I'm not a fan of this part. And it is it's so hard to control Mario too, like Spring Mario. Like I said before, um when it comes to Spring Mario it's hard to control him. Everything else is good about him because you can like jump higher, but it's just hard to control him like Like seriously, he just keeps bouncing up and down too. Oh, we have 12 lives, okay. Alright. I'm just gonna sit and wait. Until it's time to, like... Yeah, here we go. Alright. There we go. Put all that again. No! Okay. Ooh. God, this game is no chill. Get it! Alright. We're good. Oh, God, that was difficult. Oh, it's not over yet? Alright, 26 minutes. Alright. Oh, yeah, I remember this part. Alright, if I die one more time here, then I will have to quit. And we'll have to go and try this in the next episode. I didn't know it'd take me this long. I thought I'd be done. But this is pretty difficult here. Just gotta make this quick though, because I I don't want to, to take too long doing this. Oh crap. What's up? Alright, yeah, I see a star up ahead. Just don't die. If I die, I'm gonna quit and end the episode. And then I'll have to do it in the next episode. This this mission. From the beginning. Yeah, I'm gonna do it from the beginning. Because. Just because. I don't know. <clears throat> yep, here we go. Should I just go and get it? Yeah, just get it. There we go. <laughs> I just risked that. Cause I want this, I just want to be done with this now, cause we're at 28 minutes and I need to end this episode now. So, um, that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, there we go. Uh, finally. Finally got that done. All we did was basically, um, yeah, we only did like three things today in this episode. Which, like, took almost 30 minutes, really. Only did three missions that took like about three minutes, which were um, getting the red star, which one of my favorite power up of this um, game, which, I, and we collected 100 purple coins because that's that's what we're actually. Hold on. I don't know. <clears throat> well, I'm just gonna end this episode quickly. So um. You'll, you'll learn more about the purple coins, because there's purple coins you have to collect in, um, the, like, like, Good Egg Galaxy, you have to collect purple coins there. That's why, that's why those types of galaxies are not fully completed yet, because we didn't do the purple coins yet. That's why there's purple coin missions of those galaxies that are not complete, fully completed. But I'm just going to end this episode right here. I'll explain more about that, um, in the next episode, because I'm almost out of time. So, like, thank you all for watching. Be sure to check out my other videos. And um, in the next episode, we're going to go and begin um, Deep Dark Galaxy. That's what it is. <clears throat> but um, we'll go on from there. Um, this is a pretty good episode. Even though we did only three things. But um, all we did was the... Um, we, we went to the gate, which was the beginning... Which was what was we were at in the beginning of the game. At, like, the first episode. Before we got here. So, um... Yeah. 
And um, we did the, uh, we raced the Boo and fed the Hungry Luma at the gate. And we also did that Matter Splatter Galaxy. Yeah. But anyways, um, just hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe if you like my videos. And if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to hit that like button. And I will see y'all next time, guys. Thanks for watching.